Hey everybody, welcome to part 4 of Ratchet Deadlock. So we'll be going to Planet Kronos, since we finished everything we could on Serathos. And I honestly thought it was, or Serathos. I always say Serathos, it's Serathos. Serathos. And now, for a Vox Sports Update, Dreadzone's Extermination of the Day Award goes to Shellshock for his 360 Tomahawk finishing move on Plutonium Jones. It was a beauty, Dallas, and it marks Shellshock's third extermination of the season. At fourth, actually, the Omega Twins count as two. Good points. And we're now live with Shellshock for comments. Shellshock? <laughs> Those Omega Twins went down like me little girly man. <laughs> yes, quite ironic, especially since they were actually teenage girls. <laughs> yeah, ironic. Hey, Juanita, are you wearing Ace Hard Light underwear? <laughs> and now for a heartwarming story in entertainment news. Courtney Gears has made a remarkable recovery. After a near-death experience last year when she was attacked by two psychotic fans. Ah, poor girl. You know, you just hate to see that kind of senseless violence. It's a calling, Dallas. I'd just like to take those two creeps and... <laughs> I'm sure we all would, Juanita. And you may just get your wish, because those very evildoers are about to come face to face with the mighty Shellshock. Catch it all live on Dread Zone. Uh, Courtney Gears wasn't innocent. She was working with uh, Doctor Nefarious. Dudes. Folks, we're live tonight from the planet of Kronos, where Commander Shellshock and his army have taken over the city and don't like visitors. Ratchet will fight to keep. Okay, we don't need to listen to that intro. He literally just talks about shit. Anyways, Hunter Mine. In tradition, you use only the dual vipers. Complete a challenge in which you less than three minutes. Deal 250 damage in any challenge with dual vipers. Kill 20 enemies without taking any damage. Fusion rifle to kill three DC strikers in one shot. Manually turn and show down the shell shock yourself. Kill seven enemies at once with the hover ship missiles. To keep three enemies brainwashed at once, scorpion flail, kill an executioner using only a wrench, clean up. The cathedral is Wait, so hang on. There was Yeah, the okay that one. Completely locked out. Also, we can now buy the fusion rifle. I'll buy you later. I really want you, but I can't, but I have found can't afford you right now. Two giant spotlights lie dormant nearby. If you activate them, also, let's not take damage. I think that'll be awesome. Forgot these guys are. Oh wait, these might be the hover ship missiles. I don't know. Now, how much before we do enough? Too nimble. Now let's kill the enemies without taking damage. And ooh, V4, speed mod again. And now 32 damage per shot. We'll eventually find the executioners to deal with. There's gonna be lots of them in this area. Punishment. I believe that punishment is the damage, and too nimble is kill 20 enemies without taking damage. Wow, the the difference. Don't take any damage, so we'll just work on that one. These, these like flat, or these uh, hollow walls that show up, you can't take damage from behind them, and neither can the enemy. So they're li everyone's literally invincible if you're shooting against it. Wait, oh, that's what you wanted me to use. God damn it. God damn it, man! Now I'm taking multiple damage because I keep switching back to the weapon I was just in. God damn it, man! Why are there so many enemies? You know, dude, you're gonna start pissing me off. Just, just die already. Oh, I'm supposed to go this way anyway. He's going the wrong way. I'm picking up a lot of ammo here, that's for sure. Ooh, jackpot crate. 
Always in the mood for more money. Okay, nope, you're not getting on that turret, dude. Thank you. Ah, right, now we're out. V6 Obliterator, destroy them. I believe this is the end of the challenge, right? Oh, there's an Executioner. I should have just used my wrench on it, but oh well. There, oh. I got you guys. Oh yeah, that was beautiful. I guess we could try and destroy the strikers. Your bots can also launch grind cable. Never realized how long or this first mission actually is. Alright. God, I only got two of them. Who knows? Ah oh, man, we're out again. There we go. Destroyed. There. Destroy the ship. Woo! Sack the orbs, little buddies. I believe that's technically the end of the first mission. Then I have to check my phone. My girlfriend's been texting me a lot today while I've been recording these last few episodes. And there we go. We did it. And we did it, guys! Challenge complete! Only took three and a half minutes, not bad at all. And two skill points. Introducing Shellshock! Now! I know, okay, complete any challenge without taking damage, kill execution, kill the Showdown Shellshock. Shellshock returns, don't take any damage. Introduce. Ah! Defeat Shellshock using only the Dual Viper. So it's this challenge that we're gonna have to use it. I'll buy you guys later because for some reason this game is very finicky and decides to say, hey, guess what? You're not using the, your main weapon right now. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one, the only, Shellshock! <laughs> My little furry man, time to die! No, it's not time to die, bro. I don't really remember his attacks very well. But, eh, there we go! Raining shells! Hey, how can you still shoot missiles if you're flying away on me? Then? Might as well finish the don't take damage one, you know? What else are you gonna throw at me, man? Ah, oh, more of these annoying guys. I like how, like, the strikers are the guys to die first. It's like, oh, you. Why are we gonna drop any executioners? Nope, just passing through. Perfect. Beautiful. Enemies are such a grind. Oh, now we gotta beat this one in a certain amount of time frame. Hunter Mine Launcher. Except we can't really use it here because it's not really the best. It's not for this challenge run. Dual Vipers are gonna be our best friends again, so... Let's go up here. Oh, we got snipers. Yeah, well, I'm not going to bother putting it out right now. Now, I'm going to get that without actually having to do it. Yep, some more grind rails. And good thing we got the no damage one done, because I really don't feel like having to do, try and do this one. This one can get annoying. This is all the bad jumps and stuff. Woohoo! Some of the skill points are going to be really annoying to get because it's like, they don't work half the time, and you sometimes have to come back. So, if I don't get them all right away, like the ones that we can get, trust me, I will go back and get them. 
Or I'll show you guys how to get them in like little separate videos. Oh, I thought I took damage there for a second, but I'm just jumping up every now and then. Don't know why, it's like it's just part of the game. Woohoo! Man, this weapon's gonna be uh, gonna be V5 in no time at all. There we go. Oh, we got a swing shot here now. Whoa, the game almost glitched there. Holy cow, game, don't do that. I think we got the uh, skill point for beating it in a certain amount of time. Yep, slip and slide. Perfect. Infiltrate the Cathedral Part 2. Okay. Lights Can't buy that yet. That dark cathedral of Kronos, now we can try the Hunter Mine Launcher. As dread zones, deadliest warriors will be waiting to ambush them. Oh, oh baby, I love this job. Ratchet, there is a magnetic lift up ahead. It will take you on the road that leads to the next stadium. Now, I'll just buy that. There we go. Just keep buying ammo, that way we can keep using it, because, forget how many it is in a row that we actually have to kill. Uh, use the Hunter Mine Launcher to kill 20 enemies in a row. It's worth 14 or bolt, so it's not like it's worth a joke amount. Woo! Ah, through the air! It doesn't really work on enemies in the air, though. It's gonna be annoying. Cow patties, now I can say screw that and just use whatever the hell I want. Actually, probably magma cannon. So you have to upgrade you still. Okay, I could actually kill you from that. Okay, now that cinch, or that ship on the other hand is going to be annoying. Fusion rifle V2, the ammo mod. Oh, oh, hang on. Hang on, trying to get them all together. Damn it, didn't work! No! There you go, no. Hang on a second here. There's an annoying guy in a turret over there, and I don't want to deal with him. So, anyways. Ow! Damn it! Those guys are too tough when there's too many enemies around. I can't buy the freeze mod just yet. Uh, right. How many times do I want to do this until I get everything done, dude? I was trying to destroy him with my wrench. And ooh, B4, speed mod! Man, this weapon levels up fast. Now, now it's not really fast anymore, but... Oh, Hunter Mine Launcher is almost level up. Oh, yeah, I forgot this part. There we go. Ha ha ha! You were just. Ow! Ow, what the hell was that for, man? Anyways, I'm gonna go back and grab some ammo before we continue on. See what I mean? This episode's already 14 minutes, and we're just at this point, so it's gonna take a little longer for this planet. Although I don't think there's a lot of extra challenges here. Ooh, ships leveled up fast. I knew there was another one. That ship's a little more aggressive on the other hand, though. Alright, let's go. Are there supposed to be enemies here that aren't... Oh. Another ship. Boom! Can I please get... Oh. Get another one. And V3! Speed mod! Oh man, our weapons are getting powerful! Oh, there's one. So, 
just, just wait until he, you know. Ow. There we go, now it's personal. Beautiful. I'm gonna try and use the B6. I feel like the poor B6 is just a bad weapon for most of this area. Ow, who the fuck shot me in the ass? Oh, it's some little dude just... Never mind, it might be that one, actually. Vipers, go! Woo! And they go crashing down. Remember, to complete this challenge, we need to hack the orb, so... Oh, there's some health there. Let's grab some health. Sometimes there's challenges where it's just don't pick up any health, you know? Like, instead of don't take damage, it's like, just don't pick up health. Die! I mean, not don't die, don't take damage, just don't pick up health. And there we go, another challenge bites the dust. Oh man, that was that one was annoyingly diff well not difficult. It's like it only says it took us three minutes, but we know it took more. Shell Shock Returns! Now, what was the skill point for Shell Shock Returns? Oh, don't take any damage. Pedro okay. was easy. I did. Well, that was then, and this is now. Huh? That was then, Pedro and this is now. They their way through a series of increasingly deadly arenas, but they didn't see that coming. We can actually hit him while it's in the air. As you know, Shell Shock's brain was destroyed by a cruise missile in the Obani moon. Ah, eh, can't hit me. His brain was later replaced with an AI chip taken from a coffee machine. You were defeated. Result, you were he is defeated. Totally impervious to pain. But I understand he makes a fantastic cappuccino. Oh, I bet you he does. But that was easy. Thirty-four seconds. Fight to the cathedral. Is on the final stretch. This road leads right to the gates of the dark cathedral. I need three of you guys to line up, please. Ow. You guys, like, screw off for, like, two seconds. Alright, now, Hunter Mine Launcher. Go! Boom. Alright. Bringing in the little baby enemies. There we go. Impact mod. And 160 damage. Beautiful. Ow. Oh, apparently you're the one who hit me. Die! Die! Alright. I'd like to actually get the freeze mod, but sadly, sadly I cannot. Okay, looks like we got a grind rail. Looks like this is our only option, sir. Well, I guess this is a bad time to mention that I'm afraid of heights. Oh, it's not really that high up, dude. Like, the level itself actually isn't that much higher. Might be a good spot for a grind cable, boss. I know it's a good spot for a grind cable. Now I'm just leveling up weapons in general. Brink. Oh, looks like we got more soldiers down there. Oh, there's the ending. Perfect. Hunter mine, let's go! Destroy these little goons. Fusion rifle, destroy before they can send out too many enemies. Oh, man. Well, you guys are toast, so let's grind! Life is a grind, ain't it, folks? I'm gonna leave that enemy behind, not because I. God damn it! Taking damage doesn't really hurt you much here, but it's just very delaying. Or I guess crippling, crippling, delay, the, the delaying. It's very delaying. It slows you down lots. That's what I'm trying to get at. This part's hard to shoot everybody. You don't want to hit that, because then you fall off and die. And that's no bueno. 
At least not when we're trying to beat this in under 30 minutes. Drink. And no enemies here. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah, I am fine with that. Boink. Challenge complete. Showdown with Shell Shock. So the only thing I gotta do here is make sure I. Ooh, freeze mod. Perfect. And we will equip the freeze mod to you as well as the shield. Oh, here comes Shell Shock again. We have to turn the bull cranks ourselves. That's our only goal for the skill points here. Did you know that Shell Shock was recently the sexiest robot alive by Vox Magazine? Ooh, sexiest robot alive. Oh god damn it. So many of you. But I destroyed that already, man. Oh my god. Yes, please stop with that. I'd like to actually turn these ball cranks. Also, we need the gravity boots, I believe, in this game to get up walls, and we don't have that yet. So, yeah, it's going to be a bummer. There, fill up on ammo almost entirely. I believe here we get the charge boots. I believe this is the point in the game where we get them. Like, once we beat this planet, at least. Apparently, I still need fusion rifle ammo. Freak. Ooh. 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 Hey, dude. I'm gonna shoot you before you come all the way down. Well, you were going to, but then we destroyed you, so. Sucks to be you, eh, Shell Shock? No other enemies are gonna come out this time? Good. Oh, some kitty's right behind me. It's so, oh, it's my kitty angel. She's like Maru. Maru. Maru is on fire. And thanks for all the ammo. I think we have enough to deal with him. Let's go across all this goop. I think this swing shot is a little buggy in this game. It's always been. Annihilation program. Annihilation program. With my face? Okay, I need to turn this one again, so let's continue on. Which enemies are gonna drop? More of these spiky guys, right? Yep. Kinda figured it was them. Ooh, I get bolts from them. Nice bolts, too. Not the best, but definitely better than nothing. Look how this gr Dizzy! Getting so dizzy up in here, up in here. Yahoo! 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 Lots of ammo, man. Initiate Bring it, Shell Shock. Program. Point. I will gain my armor with your face. I call this one my dishonorable dish. I like how now he's taking more damage to kill, though. He's also got the bouncer as well, some kind of rhino. Boom! He's dead. Yeah, yeah, charge boots. All that, man. Completed the challenge. Look at those idiots cheering! Six million bolts of hardware down the drain, and those ingrates are celebrating like, like, like I won the freaking lottery. Uh, remind me why I put up with these morons. Who else would watch Vox News? Temptation Asteroid, Galaxy's Funniest Decapitations. Yeah, yeah. Queer Eye for the Tyranoid. I get it. Seems we've underestimated our Lumbax friend. He got lucky. Shellshock was too slow and too stupid to be an exterminator. He should have been retired years ago. Well, he's retired now. Ratchet, however. Huh. He just may be useful. He's even more popular than you were back in your heroic youth. Come to think of it, he even reminds me of you. I said he got lucky. His luck won't last forever.
Yeah, he's a little self-centered. But anyways, night flight. Bile divership and destroy all heavy turrets as fast as you can. So I think in the next episode we're gonna be doing this. So see